So now I've got this water line done, I wipe my knife and I'm going to go into some dark mix again and I'm going to actually add blue, black and a little bit of Van Dyke brown. So I'm going to get pull down some Van Dyke brown on my brush and some blue and some black and I'm just going to tap just tap straight down with the bristles okay and I'm just going to tap in from here a little bit of colour it doesn't matter if you go a little bit over your waterline that's not important we're just trying to get a little bit of a dark colour in here like so go into my colour again the brown black blue and just tap so I pulled this out here and then I'm going to come down slightly leave a little gap and then come and do another piece of land there so it sort of comes in and out I'm not too worried about what goes on over here again because I'm going to put some bushes and trees and so on but I just literally just want to get a little bit of colour there and while I've got this brush I'm just going to literally just pull straight down like so and pull this down like this and then go across and then very lightly go across there okay if it doesn't show I'll pull that again and then while I've got my knife go back into my knife and the same again I'll flatten liquid white with a little bit of blue and white and then I'll just come up to here and then I'll just literally just cut in a few little lines like so and then under this one pull another one going across there something like that so I don't want that so I'm just going to change that that's it go a bit more okay again we're going to put some highlight colour and bits and pieces on on top of there so that'd be fine so I wipe my oval brush again just get rid of this colour so this this similar colour which is I'm going to go into some Van Dyke brown some black and some blue I'll mix them all together and then I'm going to tap and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a nice tree here come to the side there so literally I'm just going to tap up here okay this this is closer to us so it's darker and slightly in front of that one it's a bit bigger so I just again I call it tree shape but obviously we don't know what tree shapes are do we but it just I, I have it so we've got limbs hanging out so I'm just getting this dark in here and I'm tapping it over this part of the land now where we had this land and again if you've got your tree like this we're going to actually put the reflection in at the same time because it just makes it so easier so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap down and fill this in I keep keep getting some more material and tap down with this brush because uh, I do want it dark nice and dark so, so it's going to come down here and we're just going to replicate try replicate I'm just going to put this all dark down here can't really see what's going on but just basically it's a similar shape of what is up there I'm taking it that way let's fill this in dark put a little bit more black in there blue I'm going to darken this up a bit more that's good lovely and I'm going to use my two inch brush again use this and again I'm literally just going to pull straight down 
all straight down here. So it's got, got the reflection in now, obviously we're going to put a bit more land in it across, but we've got the reflection in already. I'm just going to wipe this again, also a bit of tissue, just to get the excess paint off. And again, so we pull down very lightly, just pull straight down, okay, and then I'm going to turn it over, and then I'm just going to come this way. Very lightly, just to, it just creates that lovely reflection that we're looking for. Okay, so throw it down. Now, while I've got that colour going on the brush, um, we're going to do a couple more over this side, I think. So, okay, I'm going to use Van Dyke Brown, Black, and Blue. Okay. And then I'm going to put a nice big one there coming out. So, I'm start down here, and cross, and then we use the sort of top half, just hanging the ling limbs over, like so. Okay, so just sort of hang, make some limbs coming across. Some more colour. And while we're there, I'm just gonna I think we'll take this out a little bit more down here. And again, so as what we did over this side, because we got this with the reflection, even though I'm gonna put some land over there, it's just nice and get into the same habit of always putting your, your reflections in now because it's a lot easier uh, to remember to do it. So all I'm going to do is just tap and do, sort of try to replicate what I've done up there. Okay, a lot of this is probably going to be covered up anyway, but I just want to get a little bit of colour in. Okay, and then again, we use a two inch brush. I just always just wipe over a bit of tissue first and very lightly again we're just going to touch pull down touch pull down touch and pull down okay and then go across very lightly it just softens it back like so okay. and again while I remember I will get my liquid wet with a little bit of blue and a little bit of titanium white, mix them together. I will get a little roll on my knife and I'll just cut out from here, just coming out like so. Just a little bit of water there, wipe my knife, get a little bit more. And maybe put a little bit more come around from here into that way. Again, I'm going to put some land there so a lot of this is going to be filled up. So we've got some water lines put in, okay, we've got a main shape which is good. Let's just wipe my knife. Okay, I'm going to get myself a script liner brush, okay, and I'm going to go into some thinners and I'm going to use the thinners and I'm just going to go into the Van Dyke Brown and you do need to really mix it in with the colour and I'm, I'm just sort of spinning it round in with the colour uh, with the thinners so I'm going to get a few drops of thinners because I want this to be like ink consistency so I'm really spin it around getting a lot of colour in there but it does need to be nice and thin and what I'm going to do then is if you hold the, the brush at the end, you've got less pressure and it will work a lot better, trust me. So I'm just going to put a couple of branches up from here. I'm just going to start here and move it around and come up. 
and obviously they do become thinner as they get to the top the actual branches should be a lot thinner and a lot of students of mine they always say to me which way do I go do I go from the top or do I go from the bottom and it's personal preference it you know it really is personal preference on which way you want to go um, we got to remember is that if you've got wiggly hands it's good uh, because you can create some lovely effects again you don't need too many of these because we're going to get leaves um, and things cover over these so, but I'm just going to do a couple here a little bit sticking up then I'm going to come over to this side and I'm going to do the same I'm just going to add in again you can come from the top like so and just sort of see as it gets down the bottom it gets thicker as so it can do it that way just make sure you always keep keep your paint like ink consistency and you will find that it, it will just flow much better for you so all I'm doing now is I'm just now I've got that basic thing is I'm just looking at the shape of my tree and that is basically where I will put some of these limbs coming out here and coming out there because obviously that is where the leaves will be coming up this way and this way obviously when you do this you have a lot more time and you can spend much much more time on this if you wish I'm just doing this for you to get an idea of how quick and easy you can create a, a nice looking picture now over here I'm going to create a nice branch coming up so I'm going to add colour more colour in there and I'm going to pull it up from here I'll do two I'll do one coming out from here like so just sticking it up a little bit and get some more colour if you need to go over because sometimes when you go over the colour it may pull out a little bit of white so I'm just going back into my colour and just pull it picking up again like I said because sometimes when you go over but I've gone over my clouds and uh, it's picking up the colour so I'm just going back over it put it down again you can go over these if you need to so I'll pull one side so I'm going to pull another one up into my colour, a bit more ink, uh, this one I'm going to do more straight, so sort of touch coming up, wiggle it about and off, another and then add some branches and again I'll find if I hold it at the end I look better and what well, as I bend where the bend goes is where I usually come off with a branch so I'll take the branch from there and just again these aren't always straight you know you, very rarely do you get straight branches very rarely so just back into colour, a little bit more thinners spin the ink round and a few more pieces here and if you spin it you find that the bristles stay nice and close together so they don't spray out too much 
otherwise you get some funny effects going on. I think that'd do it. We don't want too many, you know, to overpower the whole thing. Again, we're going to have some um, foliage and so on on there. Let's just pull it down a little bit lower. Add a little bit more colour to that. In there, that's better. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to clean my brush. Okay, I think I'll extend these a little bit lower. So I'm just going to take these down a little bit lower here. A few little leaves, like so. A bit more thinners. I should add this one close to there, like so. I do. So it's brought down a little bit lower. Okay. Short brush. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of foliage on top of these ones. Now, you can use the one inch brush, the round brush, but we use the round brush to just put a little bit of colour in there. So, so what I think we'll do is we use the, the two inch brush, so move my tools, 